the Monsters of Akateep is the name given to a serial killing couple Juan Carlos Hernandez, 1985, Lazaro Cardenas, Michokin, and Patricia Martinez, 1980, Lazaro Cardenas, Michokin. The case also received the names of The House of Horror or The Butchers of Akateep. Active in Akateep to Morelos, State of Mexico, from 2012 to 2018, the pair are suspected to have committed between 10 and 20 murders, and have also confessed to cannibalizing the bodies of their victims. The pair were apprehended on October 4, 2018 when transporting human remains in a baby stroller. Background They were both born in Lazaro Cardenas, Michoacan, within a five-year age gap. Juan Carlos' mother was a single mother, who allegedly often dressed him as a girl, brought men to her house and forced her son to watch her sexual encounters. Also, he declared that in his childhood, he suffered sexual abuse by another woman who at the time was his caretaker. When he was 10 years old, he fell from the stairs and suffered a severe traumatic brain injury. Patricia Martinez was born to a poor family, and was manipulative. She was diagnosed with a border intelligence disorder linked to intellectual disability. She was a prostitute at the time. The couple met in 2008, when Patricia worked as waitress at a restaurant, of which Juan Carlos was a regular client. They initiated a relationship and, although he presumed to be an assassin, she decided to move with him. The couple had four children during their 10-year relationship. They opened a family business where they sold clothing, perfume and cell phones. Crimes Their first victim, according to Patricia's declaration, was a 22-year-old woman who Juan Carlos lured with job promises. In their house, Hernandez led her to their bathroom where he raped, beheaded and dismembered her. Martinez kept their children outside the house while the murder occurred. After the murder, Martinez partially cooked the body and ate it with her husband. Their second victim was a teen girl who lived next to them, who suffered an inhalant addiction. They allegedly lured her with promises of wealth. Like the first victim, she was also raped, beheaded and dismembered in their bathroom. Patricia cooked the victim's body in carne con chile. See also list of fugitives from justice who are no longer sought. References